Yellow, yeah, this is Delusional here. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, for today's video, I have the new Season 1 trailer for Tekken 8. I already have seen it, but I feel like it's best to show it to you guys as well. And talk about a couple of the points that they're going to be showcasing and as well as releasing in the future for Tekken 8. Começar esse jogo. Alright, so you have seen the trailer with me. Again, I've already seen it first before I managed to make a video on this. I saw it, I saw it when they released during the evening. I was about to go to sleep and this popped up on my feeds on YouTube and yeah, I had to see it. I was going to wake up, I'm out of my bed and then make a video on it because I was going to be very droggy and sleepy so I wouldn't have sounded normal like I do today. So. Right now, I just want to talk about a few points of what the Season 1 trailer showcased. For one, the Battle Balance update that they're going to be adding into the game. Uh, I'm hoping that they do this very early in the Spring update, but I don't know. So for now, we'll just have to wait and see exactly what they're going to be doing with that. But not only that, they're going to be adding some new stages, or stage in this case, the Seaside Resort. I am very excited for this because I actually really like stages that are very bright, that have this feel to it, that looks, you know, like, like if you're actually in the beach or something like that. Like, I like these kind of stages. Like, the one they have previously in Tekken 7 was, in my opinion, it looked okay for the engine that they had at that time. But... A lot of parts in the stages, especially when it comes to the characters, they looked like they were darker. They looked like they were darker, they looked like they were uh, not shaded well enough with the lighting of the stage. It really made it look quite bad. Glad that they're going to make a new one. This is essentially a new one. This is not the same one, I, I believe. And it's a free update. Probably because of the backlash that Tekken 8 is receiving because of the battle pass and the balance changes that they've done to the game. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. Then they move on to the photo mode that they're going to be adding in during the summer. Now this is another thing that I'm also very excited for because I hate having to use the Unreal on Engine Unlocker as it's called, or the UUU, which is a application, you can move the cameras, you can even stop things, and essentially I used it mostly for the sake of taking pictures for my thumbnails. And now they are finally adding this particular type of mode to the game. I'm really happy about this. The only thing that I'm a little bit sad is that it's going to be a little bit later down the line, so it's not going to happen during the spring, it's going to happen 
during the summer so we we'll have to wait until they release that so I'll still have to be using the UUU application just so that I can then take pictures and whatnot then they're gonna release the main story chapter for I guess Eddie uh, I gotta be honest I don't really care as much for this because what I really care about is the overall story having to do with Reyna like when she turned into the devil like and all that shit like I want to see what's gonna happen with that hopefully that that will be something later down the line maybe they won't release it anytime soon I don't think maybe like a season two or season three they'll do that they'll then release like the story chapter for Reyna and seeing what exactly is gonna happen next with her or maybe even like a prequel as to showcase how she managed to have this dormant devil power alongside herself like I, I want to see what's gonna be done with that in the future And yeah, they've now also announced that Lydia is actually coming out as the second character for the season one pass. I don't know if I care enough, really, as well. Like, I really would have wanted was Armor King or even Fakuram. Those are the two characters that I would actually play and main in second eight. But hey, look, they're releasing Lydia. So, and yeah, that's about it. But since this is basically a lot of free updates that are going to be adding to the game. I am very excited. I hope you guys are also, are also excited for the game and that they may have things that will definitely help the game improve during the Battlebound Spring update and then excited for the other things they're going to be adding in later down the line. So if you guys like what you watched, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my shit and stay tuned for more.